We're on a Fanuc standard for Kuma 2021. It's all about injection molding. Now Fanuc have a great range of robo shop machines, but they've upgraded them. It's now the SIB range. Not only that, they've got the LSR. Tell me all about the LSR, please. Yeah, we have the uh, two components. So we have component A and B with the dosing unit. We supply this uh, here to our plasticizing unit. Okay, so you're the... mixing two yes. silicons together. Yeah. And the mixing unit, and then on the barrel, our technology starts. So we analyze the common designs on the common technologies in Europe, and we made our own design, right. own ideas, doing something better, yeah. and put in the dis uh, design. Constant volume, high precision speed and position, and pressure control. That's the key points for LSR. So with the barrel, how is that being controlled? Uh, we analyze the market and the common designs on the market. We came with our own ideas, yep. made our own design, and the result is now here shown on the... But to, to get the accuracy, the speed, the precision, how are you able to do that? So we use the common CNC technology for FANUC, okay. which is already well known for high precision and high speed 65 control. years, I understand. Yes, we have a long experience. We have a long experience to produce injection molding machines. Mm -hmm. The integrated pressure control is well designed for this application. So we have a lot of experience. A lot of experience. And with these machines, they're um, electric driven, is that correct? Yes, fully electric with CNC control. That's the main point. So the common uh, technology of CNC is speed and position control okay. on a high level of precision. Yeah, we have always the same constant injection time, yep. which is the main parameter for injection molding. Right. Anyway, if it's LSR or Thermoplast, that's a key parameter. When you have a constant injection time and speed, yep. you have the main parameter on the control to have high quality parts. In there, we can see the process going on in the background, but it's not just about getting the silicon in there, it's also getting it out. You have a vision system. Yeah, so the robot take out the parts and the sub runner and we check uh, if all parts are taken out, yes. including the sub-runners, to make sure that nothing remains in the mold, okay. because then we are in trouble to have over-molding when we close again and right. inject. So that, that very bad if anything's left in that machine? Yes. Okay. Okay. So the robot is integrated to the controller yes. by FLNet. It's a new interface from FANUC. So it's a simple connection with the Ethernet cable. So all communication goes over Ethernet so and simple. also operation. And the vision system is also integrated in the robot controller, so there's no additional PC necessary. So the whole camera system vision is integrated in the robot controller. Okay, and what sort of industries and components are you manufacturing on these machines? So the target market is uh, high precision optical parts like we show here. We have a light guide for automotive, for the matrix like in the car, yep. or any optics, uh, high-end ceilings, and um, high precision parts in general for medical. So it's a wide range. So LSI is a growing market. Our main point was that we meet the requirements of the European market. Because the European market is a very interesting market. It's a long history market for LSR. And for us it was clear to make our own development for the European re requirements. Okay, so with this machine then you're getting accuracy, precision, fast and also very energy efficient. That's one, let's say, bonus. Yes. Uh, we have a very low energy consumption because in-house technology means everything is optimized to the process. The motor selection, everything is optimized and we can guarantee the lowest energy consumption on the market.